Hey guys, Skylord Guillaume here, and today I am going to show you how you can make your own custom thumbnail for your videos. Now, I know a lot of you are getting tired just making those boring old default thumbnails for YouTube, and you really want get to get those people clicking on your videos with your cool thumbnails and get those subscribers, and it always looks really nice. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, now first, what you are going to want to do is uh, get your internet browser, and you're going to Google ScreenFlow. It is a screen recorder, but actually you are going to use this for your thumbnail making. Now, this comes up, I really, I downloaded this uh, a while ago, so I really don't know which one it is, but um, you should get something like this. There might have been a new update by now. I I'll, I actually remember an update being asked for installed. I, I dismissed it, but um, that'll probably be required. But you'll see all these different things, so... I'll just go to ScreenFlow for Mac, download. This works for PC also. Uh, so you're probably going to want to click this. I'm pretty sure you want this. I clicked on this too, and there's also f download free trial. Um, see so not download. Well, anyway, download now. Anyway, so these um, are safe downloads from um, trusted websites. So anyway once you have that you should get this well now we're gonna set this aside for now but you will need this later so <coughs> first what you're gonna want to do is go to minecraft dot novaskin dot me link will be in the description you can just click that but uh... you'll go here and you can see my skin right here and now this is how you're going to put your animated player onto your thumbnail. So you're going to click up here at the tab called Pose. If you you're, you're going to at the start you're going to show up with a Steve skin. So what you're going to want to do is type in the URL of the skin of the player you want to get. So I'm just going to put mine in. And there it'll go. You'll click this little thing and it'll apply it to your character. Now I already have mine on there, so it'll won't do anything, but anyway. So now I'm going to want to make my pose. So I already have my pose made for my player. I'm just going to use the one from episode one. I'm going to. I'm making my TNT tag thumbnail right now. But anyway, I'm just going to. You can adjust uh, the arms like that. I can make it bend. Boop -ba doo. Um, I can make this go back. Um, make this go here, make this, I'm just doing a little quick one for you guys, uh, right there, head, I can change also, you can change the body, but I don't usually do that, you can if you want, I can make it go there, I can make it turn, anyway, once you have what you want, and you can also make them holding something, so I could make my little character hold a diamond sword, over here I could make a, a um, a pick, that's pretty cool. So now what you want to do once you have your themed uh, pose of the character you're going to put in your thumbnail, probably having to do with the video I'm assuming, you're going to go up here to photo. Now you're going to cl right click, I don't know what it is on PC, I'm assuming it's like right click and save or something, but you're going to go to save image as. Now I already have mine, but you can just type something random, so I'll just call this thumbnail and we're going to save this but I already have mine so anyway once you have that done you can click that off you you should know where you're putting it by the way so you can get it very easily you're going to click that off um, just click these tabs off now we're going to go to cooltext.com uh, you can click any logo you want there are so many that you can choose from but anyway, um, I usually do Keen, which is my signature uh, font. Um, what I'll probably, you can adjust what it's called, so I'm just going to call this Thumbnail. You know, no, actually, I'm just going to call this Test. And then you can adjust the size so we can make it small, or we can make it nice and big. 300, it takes a little minute to load, there we go, huge. Now we can make the start color, 
different colors. I know you've seen this in people's thumbnails of professional YouTubers. So you can make it start, and then at the end, which is the bottom, we can make it a different color. So maybe like a greenish, maybe we want. Well, that looks pretty cool. Now, you can adjust the outline color, which is, um, so I can make the outline like blue or something. I don't usually change that, but um, anyway, you can make the opacity of the shadow anything you really want. You can adjust, you can figure that stuff out for yourself, but once we have our logo, we're going to do create logo, download image. Now I already have mine done. Right here it says TNT tag number two, episode two. So it should appear in your downloads or wherever you order it to go if you're on a PC or if you have a different version of Mac. But anyway, once you have downloaded that, keep that aside for now and our last quick thing we need to go is google.com and we will now I'm just gonna turn minecraft logo and then we're gonna transparent there we go transparent and then we'll go to images and we can see these minecraft logos now you want it to be transparent we don't want a white background so that would look weird uh, oh that looks pretty awesome but this isn't what we want in this case um, you can see a lot of them will have a white background. That's not what you want. You'll have white all over there. You see these, uh, sorry about that. You see these gray and lighter gray or white checkers in the back. That's not going to appear. That is an indication that it's transparent in the back. So all you'll see is Minecraft. Now you're going to go do 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 download image and it'll show up there. But I already have mine downloaded. Of it. I'll, yeah. You know what? Okay, there you go. Once you have those three things, you are going to want the background, obviously. So, you can just look up wallpaper. I don't know. You can put anything in the background you want. Or what I usually like to do is go into Minecraft and take a screenshot, which on Mac you do by doing Shift-Command-3. You can go into your Minecraft game, go into F1 mode, and take a cool screenshot that you can put in your background, which is what I do. But anything you really want to do, you can put a cool background to it. This is pretty, uh, this is a really nice picture. That would be cool, but this is Minecraft, so we'll probably want to do stuff for this. You don't, this doesn't have to be for a Minecraft thumbnail, by the way. Um... You can do it with anything, but the pose character you obviously probably won't want for something other than Minecraft. Now, that is done, so we're going to get rid of our internet browser. We're going to go to our screen flow. Oh, this is Camtasia, my screen recorder that I'm actually using. We're going to go to screen flow. Now, we are going to arrange this in the right way. So, since this, this is my... Um, also, one thing before I say that, the more things on the timeline right here, the things at the top are going to be in front, the things at the bottom are going to be in the back. So I usually like to put my little details on first before the background. So I'm going to go to my YouTube videos folder, which is what I always use. Oh, it's right there. Um, so my first thing, I'm going to put my TNT. Uh, where did it go? I downloaded this previously. You probably won't want this because you might. If you want a TNT run video, you can just look up TNT, whatever Minecraft on Google Images. But next thing, we'll do my thing. I'd put this at 125% just to remind my. Oops, right. We have to put this front. There we go. Now, I put this at 125%. You guys probably don't want to do that. You can resize your character right here, but usually it'll be like stretchy going like that and you don't want your character to be all stretchy you want just want to enlarge him or her so go up here and you can drag this make it huge or really teeny or whatever you want but mine is going to be 125 okay anyway so now once you have that you can take your cool text image which will be in here or your folder or whatever I'll drag that right there now here, um, I'll drag this all the way to the bottom is what I usually do. If you want yours to be like unique so it doesn't look like you're copying my style, you can do anything you want. You can make multiple characters like one on this side, one on that side. It, really anything you really want. Now to do our Minecraft logo, everyone usually has Minecraft logos at the top. And, like famous YouTubers, they always have just a Minecraft logo just sitting there. So I'm going to grab my thing, drag that in, but um, I already have mine that I like, so minecraft-logo.png. Now this one is gonna, you're gonna drag it down to here, so it'll create a new track. Boop. Oops. 
don't need to do that. Now it'll appear. I like to drag mine all the way to the top, make it centered. Uh, that's kind of hard. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's done. Now, finally, our background to spice it up uh, with a bit of character. Uh, put that at the bottom. There we go. Just drag it to the beginning, and there you go. This is your thumbnail. Now, you're thinking, this is a screen recorder. How are we ever going to get it into a thumbnail? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. So, what you're going to want to do is go to preview. Uh, whoops. Now, this is the part where it only works on Mac. I don't know. All you have to do is take a screenshot of this, but if you only... If you have a PC, I don't know how to take a screenshot, so you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Uh, but if you have a Mac, you're in luck. Uh, you're going to look for preview. I, I, you're just going to have to take a screenshot of this. So preview. This is my Mac thing. So you're going to open up preview. Nothing's going to come up, obviously, but you're going to have that selected. Now you're going to go to file, take screenshot from selection, and your little pointer will come up. Now on PC I don't know how you'd take one from a selection that's fine you can take it somehow but what you're gonna want to do is put it all the way to the edge all the way up there okay there we go all the way at the edge and now make it nice and even there we go now we have our final thumbnail now I'm going to X this off and call this, well we already called something thumbnail, so I'm just going to call this thumbnail in all cap, thumbnail, thumbnail in all caps, and I'm going to save it, oops, 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 oh, uh, I'll just type gibberish at the end, uh, and I'll save this to my folder that I always use, there we go, now you can just click X, don't save, and I will get back to you when I am ready to apply the thumbnail. Okay, so I am at the upload screen, and I am going to go to my folder where everything is. I am going to drag in my second video. There we go. Get rid of that. Now it is uploading. I'm going to call this... You can call this whatever you want. I'll, I'll get to that later, and I'll get to the description later. But, this, of course, this video is about a thumbnail. So, while you're uploading your video, you will see this custom thumbnail button. You're going to want to click that. Now this whole thing will come up. If it doesn't go to the selected folder, what you can do is go here, then drag your thumbnail, here it is, into here, and it'll pop up and it'll select it. So now you'll just go choose. And one thing I forgot to mention is the thumbnail has to be under 2 megabytes to go in there, but mine is 1.1 megabytes, so there we go. It is in. You can change image by clicking that, and it'll ask you to change it again. But that is how you do it. Once this is uploaded, it'll have a pretty dope thumbnail, in my opinion. Obviously, you, you, you guys might not enjoy it. But anyway, so that is how to make a thumbnail. If you enjoyed the video and these uh, tutorial videos, uh, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.